everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and I'm really excited about tonight's two projects. We're actually gonna be designing two different wreaths. The first one is going to be the perfect wreath for anything every day. So, you know, oftentimes we create seasonal wreaths, holiday specific wreaths, things that are really catered to a certain, you know, specific demographic um, or situation. But tonight's wreath is going to be for those of you that want a wreath that you can just leave up. Doesn't matter, you know, the season, the holiday, what room it goes into. This is the type of wreath that would match anything and everything. So this is a kit that's available at nickseasonaldecor.com. Hey, Normat, nice to see you. And also to you guys, you know, not only do we have kits available, but we also have individual supplies available too. So even though we have this in kit form, typically what I do is I pull enough inventory for a certain number of kits. And this type of kit, we have plenty of stock for everything else. So we are out of stock for, I think, every grapevine at this point, And hopefully those will arrive soon. Uh, but this is a sign we got in, I want to say, two weeks, uh, two weeks ago or so. It has an item number of AP0132. And it's a beautiful corrugated tin with an actual tin welcome sign. So this sign isn't made out of MDF. It's metal. So it actually bends with the frame. We're going to be securing it to an 18 inch grapevine, which is also included in the kit. I'll do a quick little rundown. Hey, Judy, thank you guys for coming in. Uh, make sure to text me if you haven't done so yet. We do send out alerts when we go live. Um, and I believe Alex already sent her text. So if you've gotten it, let me know. So this is one of my favorite ribbons. And if you were in the wreath community two years ago, you're probably sick of seeing this because I used it that much. Uh, we have it in gray, black, red, red and green, and maybe another color or so. But this type of print, this is known as farm stripe or farmhouse stripe. We're using the gray today with an item number of RG01913FJ. And look at that match. This is going to be perfect. I'm so excited to create this. So in this kit, we also, you know, when we first designed it, I actually had more products, uh, but it did get a little bit pricey. So to cut back on cost, we actually simplified the kit, but you're still getting more than enough product. So the first thing that's up is this real touch leather fern. Uh, and this does feel really soft. It's a nice foliage, um, natural touch leather, 13 stems that are 18 inches long. MTF 22172. So you get this. You also get one of these allium sprays. And allium are actually in the uh, the onion family. So if you've ever seen globe, you know, style alliums, they're typically purple. Um, you know, they're in the onion family. So that's a quick little fun fact. Item number of MTF 22769. Uh, and if one of you guys don't mind heading to the website and checking to see if this kit's even listed, I would appreciate it uh, because we've had that issue in the past. So in this kit, you also get three of these uh, anemones. We have these in white, purple, pink, blue, red, and I want to say another color, but I can't remember. So MTF 23723. These are 17 inches long. And that's it. Very simple. And afterwards, I want you guys to stick around because we're also going to be designing a mini wreath using these really pretty pip berries. Thank you for the shares. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Colleen. These pip berries with these two ribbons. What do you guys think of that combo? Uh, combo? I think that looks really nice. So that is the second wreath we're going to be working on. So two wreaths tonight. First things first, we got to secure our sign to our wreath. And let's figure out how we want to do that. We could secure it like that. I think that's how we'll do it. Lower left or lower right a little bit. Not super noticeable, but it is a little bit more so towards that side. And that's because when I design my reeds, you guys, I don't like my reeds to be perfect. I don't want you know everything to be, to be perfectly spaced, perfectly even. I'd much rather have something offset a little bit. And as a designer tip, when you offset things, hey, Candice, nice to see you. Hello from Virginia. Do all reeds have to be full? No, they do not, Sylvia. You do not have to have too many products in your wreath. Keep it simple. The more you work in does not necessarily translate to a prettier, better wreath. So two lengths of 22 gauge florist wire. And I've chosen this because I don't want to see it through the frame. So I'll take my wire, feed it through the hook and tie it on. So before we get it in place, we'll tie it to both sides. Can you guys see me and hear me okay tonight? 
My phone's only on like 35, 40%. Nah, I think that's being generous. I don't think it's at 40. So that just means I got to make sure that a notification doesn't pop up saying low battery. Because what happens when that happens is I go mute. You guys can't hear me. Come on. Let's do it this way. So I don't want to see that hanger. It is a little decorative hanger, but I don't want to see that. So we'll take those wires now and tie them to the wreath just by feeding them through the grapevine. So today, you guys, was like 65 degrees. You remember how much snow we got between those two snowstorms? Well, one was a uh, blizzard and the other one was just a little snowstorm. I'd say 85, 90% of it is already gone, which is awesome. Tighten it from behind. Do the same thing to the other side. Hey, Kathy. So dad was here earlier with Yaya. They packed a bunch of your orders and then they head home uh, because we don't want to keep Bella alone. So they headed back to keep Bella some company while she heals over the next few weeks or so. But now it's just me and Alex at the warehouse tonight. So we're going to work in this ribbon now. So in case you guys didn't see, we did get in pipe cleaners. I think we have five or six colors at the moment. We're going to use the beige today because it's just going to blend in with the grapevine. I need my scissors, though, behind me. Hey, Jacqueline, cute welcome sign, right? I love this sign. This hasn't been a hot seller for us, so I figured we'd work it into a kit just so you guys can see it. I don't think I've actually shown it in a warehouse tour yet, uh, but it's a really pretty double sign. I think it works great with this ribbon and the flowers we're going to be working in. So just trying to gauge to see how big of a bow I want. I don't want it to be too big. I think that's a good length. So about six to seven inch tails, four inch loops or so. And we're going to do a funky bow. I'm not going to add any tails to this design today. You guys know I love my tails, but I figured let's mix it up today and not work in, you know, any super long tails. Just keep it compact. So there's our second loop. See? Hi, Cindy. Thank you guys for sharing. As always, when you share these videos, it helps me inspire others, which has always been and will always continue to be my number one goal. And we've had a lot of new faces this week. I've seen a lot of people say my you know, first time which is just amazing. So let me know, how long have you been with me? Have you guys been with me since day one back in, not the basement days, the other side of the basement days, when I was just a little awkward high schooler? <laughs> or are you relatively new? Or is it your first time, your hundredth time? Are you sick of me yet? All of that good stuff. So that's four loops. Let's finish it off. Do I want one more? I do want one more. So let's just do one more loop and see how that goes. So this ribbon is not a seasonal ribbon. This works for year round. I think all of the colors do. The black does, the red does, the gray certainly does. We did have a blue, I think we're out of stock with the blue, but the blue is a beautiful kind of like baby blue, grayish blue. And the only one that's seasonal I'd say is the red and green one, because that's glittery and it's very Christmassy in my eyes, very whimsical and kind of grinchy. So we'll take our bow. Let's place it ever so slightly to the left. That way it's not perfect like the sign because the sign's a little bit towards the right. Let's do that mirrored image effect. That way we balance the weight. So you always want to balance weight whenever designing anything. Uh, you don't want it to look top heavy. You don't want it to lean too much on one side and have nothing on the other, uh, unless it's a half design, of course. So we'll just tie it. Did you guys see the patriotic swag I made earlier? I did a little live pop-in. It was kind of a weird time. I did it like midday. 
but I can't wait to start designing beach reeds and summer reeds, patriotic reeds. It's getting to be a fun time of year. So now we're just dovetailing these tails real quick. And then we'll probably trim up some of these a little bit later on. After we work in that leather fern, I think that's going to be a perfect stopping point. And then deciding what needs to be cut a little bit shorter. But you don't have to take off too much right off the bat, you guys. You know that by now. Start slow, because once you do that cut, there's no going back. You can't add to your ribbon, but you can take away. Clean up our workstation. One more tail. All right, now let's give this a light fluff. So in the group, I talk about doing a light fluff at this particular point in time. And the reason for a light fluff is just to gauge the overall size. That way you know how far to stick your products out because we always talk about adding products even if you can't see every you know inch of them. But if this bow is all smushed and squashed, like this tail is gonna need some trimming, you know, and you worked your products in way too short, you're not even gonna see any of them. So always keep that in mind. Just do a light fluff just to gauge the size, but don't go full throttle, because if you go full throttle at this point, you're gonna need a fluff again later, and again, and again, and you'll drive yourself crazy, especially if you're a fluffaholic like I am. So time to come back in with that kind of powdery leather fern. So we'll snip these off. Let's do that much for now and start working in this. Isn't that a pretty greenery? Watch since 2019. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, let us know. I want to come back in. My camera's really high right now, so I'm not able to see every comment. Uh, but after this video, mark my words, I'm going to go back and see how long you guys have been with me. So how many of you guys have placed an order as well? If you haven't, that is not a problem at all, as you guys know. Uh, selling supplies is not my goal. It's just, I'd say, an accessory to my business where we're able to, you know, design like we always do, but also, you know, provide you guys with the products so you don't have to run around and find them. But I would love to know. I see lots of familiar faces in the comments. So some of these have really long stems. So the stem length was 18 inches. I think we went up a couple inches in the, the stem because we don't need the full 18 inch for this project. But today was a pretty cloudy day. It was beautiful out, very windy, very, very windy. I was shaking some grapevines earlier and I had to turn in the opposite direction because all of this, you know, the leaves and stuff were hitting me in the face. Uh, but hopefully if tomorrow is nicer, I want to take a picture of that centerpiece or arrangement rather we designed together last night. Did you guys see that? We created a huge, really big uh, sunflower and blue bonnet arrangement. Turned out really, really pretty. All right, the last leaf we pre-cut, this is going to go underneath our bow. So see how we have that bare spot underneath? We'll place one here. And then while we're here, we still have two leaves left. Let's cut off one more leaf and place it under this loop. So with my signs, well, first and foremost, signs are not a necessity to every design. Some people love signs. Some people hate signs. Some people love ribbons. Some people hate ribbons. You can totally customize this however you would like. So that's the beauty of what we do, you guys, is that it's all down to personal preferences and what you enjoy in your designs. But when you do work in signs, the rule I follow, and I know it's very different from a lot of other designers, but it's just what I enjoy the most, is I enjoy making sure that every letter is visible on my designs. I don't want them to be covered up at all. I want to be able to see the full impact. So now we're going to work in this beautiful allium. So these, I believe, are $7.99 in our shop. We'll just pull these two leaves off. And can you guys guess what I'm going to do with those? You already know. Into the bow they go. So just dip and poke in. 
then we can take these three flowers and place them in the, in the design. We'll place one there. And look at how strategic I'm being, you guys. I'm focusing so much attention on exact placement. I'm just kidding. I'm not. Don't stress yourselves out with trying to be perfect or making sure everything is even. You're going to drive yourselves crazy. Now we can trim up. Oop, now we can trim up these tails a little bit. So we'll start small. Sometimes, especially if you're just starting out, you're better off cutting it even less than you anticipate on needing. That way you can take even more little gradual cuts and make sure that you're not taking too much off at any one time. And you still have, I'd say, three quarters of this roll left over. God forbid you mess up, you can definitely make another bow and take this bow off and stick it somewhere else, right? Because just because you cut the tails too short does not mean you can't make it work still. All right. There is the bow. Bring that allium down a little bit. Now you get three and, oop. Can you guys hear me now? <laughs> Sorry, I saw a low battery. Made me nervous. Uh, but you get three anemones in it, and these are 319, and we have them in five colors, I think, five or six colors. And I love the black central discs inside. So that is a very telltale sign of an anemone. You get two beautiful kind of Dusty Miller texture and color leaves on an 18-inch stem. Right, 18-inch, 17-inch, my bad. And originally I had three, uh, five of these and then two of the Allium and a couple other products. But I figured, you know what, that way we can stay a little bit more on a budget. Let's work in three because three is going to do the trick too. So I'll place one up top. Take another one. Place it up top in between those Alliums. Oh, I forgot the tag on that one. So stick around, you guys. We're not done after this wreath. We got one more wreath to make. That's sticking out a little bit further than I'd like. We'll just trim that stem quarter an inch. And back in it goes. And our third and final allium. Nope, anemone. So in case you guys missed our tour yesterday, we got in a bunch of high quality florals and greenery. No signs, no picks, no embellishments. Nothing but high quality florals and greenery for this order. All the other stuff is coming in, but these flowers are moving really fast. Um, so definitely snag some. We did make sure to order a decent amount, but you know, we're never positive on quantities. What do you think? You also have one more fern leaf that we can place. Let's hold it up. I think we'll place this one on the outside. Bulk it up a little bit more there. And we just worked in two leaves in the middle, and that's all that it took. What do you think? The warehouse looks great. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Debbie. From beautiful Pennsylvania. I love Pennsylvania. Um, Pennsylvania seems like one of those states. I'd say Pennsylvania, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maine, and New York. It feels like home to me, you know? I feel like we all live very similar lifestyles in those states, and it doesn't feel any different. And plus, we're all within 10 hours from each other, so not even. What do you think? You guys like that? And I loved it. I love it with that tin welcome sign with the white welcome on the top, which is also metal. So it keeps it from breaking, you guys. So these kits, I believe, are $49, all inclusive with the grapevine and everything. But now, do you guys feel like seeing a second wreath? Hands up if you think I should make a second wreath now. 
unless you're sick of seeing me for the night. So let me know. I love that ribbon. Look at that. So we'll give it a sec. You guys can be the voters for this while I clean up the table. Okay, so like I said, grapevines are out of stock. I know we have two or three cases of 18 inch and two or three cases of 14 inch. Uh, right now they're on reserve for kits like the one you just saw. Uh, but the 14 inch, I don't know if we're gonna do a kit anytime soon with this. So what I think we'll do is I think we'll list some. These are $5.75 and the 14 inch are looking more like 16 inch to me. Don't those look really big and nice? So $5.75, how can you go wrong? All right, so it looks like you guys wanna see. All right, let's make a second wreath. Tony's like, make another one. Jacqueline says, yes, please. All right, you got it. Let's work in these two ribbons. So we don't have these ribbons in stock. These are from my own stockpile over the years, but we do have lots of patriotic ribbon coming in soon, hopefully in the next two weeks or so, just as a heads up. But these are just rustic primitive ones, which I have a lot on order because I love primitive kind of Americana themed designs. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me on that? Do you like things more like this, where they're primitive and natural and organic? To me, pit berries work the best for patriotic decor. So let's cut two lengths of tails. We'll cut a longer blue one and a shorter red one. And I thought, let's try a different bow technique. So we're gonna start with the blue. Mm, yeah, let's start with the blue. Let's do, on each side, three loops that are about, it's a little big, about three and a half inches or so. Give or take, you guys, nothing's set in stone. You don't have to follow things perfectly. There's our second. So unlike other styles of bows, I do put a little bit more thought into making these loops even. Uh, because there's not nearly as many as a traditional bow or a funky bow where it doesn't make a huge, huge difference. Uh, but for something like this where we're only working in three, four loops of one color, you do want it to be slightly more precise. So we're going to do our third loop. Right? Three loops. I'm not holding this with a death grip. Very loose grip or else you'll hurt your hands over time. So we got that. I like the primitive style too. Coming back in with the red, we'll do two loops that are about three and a half inches, maybe a little bit smaller on each side. And by making them smaller, you create depth because I don't want these all to be the same length. I want to be able to distinguish each and every loop that we work in. So two loops and that's it of the red on each side. We'll snip that off. And believe it or not, we'll come back in with the blue. So we're gonna do our final loop. And this is going to be a button loop. So if you watch me on Bodabra, you'll hear that term. And I like to do button loops because it finishes off the middle portion of the bow so you don't see the string or the pipe cleaner or the wire or for some of you guys, zip ties which I don't think I've ever tried a zip tie with a bow. Maybe I have, I can't think of it. Um, but I know lots of people love zip ties with their bows. I think it's because I never do enough loops where I really need that tension, I guess. I don't know. So we'll tie it off. We won't fluff it at all until it goes on the wreath because why do double the work? Place it on the wreath. And what do you guys think? Should I place it perfectly in the center or should I offset it? Like, should I put it lower in the design? Maybe the lower left would be nice. Let's do the lower left. We haven't done that in a long time. So feed that pipe cleaner through. I love the beige pipe cleaners we got in because you can't see them against anything. The beige works with everything. You might think black wood or white wood, but it, it doesn't work the same because if you're not using black, it's going to stand out like a sore thumb. And if you're not using white, it really stands out. I feel like white's the worst color pipe cleaner if 
you're doing things like this, which is primitive and organic style designs, because you can spot that pipe cleaner 10 miles away. Pull our long tails down. Again, we have two long blue tails and then two medium length red tails. So those ones aren't super long. Then what we can do is fluff our bow. So who said bow making is hard? Me, when I first started out. But I've learned, you guys, and you can too. What do you think of that bow? Show some hearts if you love it. Hey, Carol. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll just curl up those red tails a little bit. And all of the ribbons too, we've been getting some messages. All of the ribbons available at nickseasonaldecor.com are wired. So just as a heads up, we don't have wired in any of the terms or any of the descriptions because all of our ribbons are wired. We do not carry non-wired ribbons at this point in time. And there's our bow. So Alex, I haven't removed any of these from Quantity. Uh, I did fluff this one open to see how pretty it was, and I think that's going to be the perfect match, right? Barb loves the bow. Thank you, Barb. So these, they come in a plastic sleeve with an item number of FH77-7336. So again, FH77-7336. I think I added an extra seven. But I like when those labels are on the bags because you don't have to cut them off. Now we're ready to go, right? So for these, they are somewhat heavy with those metal, rusty metal bells. Not bells. We do have rusty bells too, but <laughs> rusty stars. Thank you, Peggy. And we'll just take some of these and work them in their entirety. So once we get our patriotic ribbons in, we're going to be able to... <clears throat> create some simple kits like this where it only requires a handful of ingredients, right? So $5.75 for the grapevine. These, I believe, are like $4, $4.99, maybe even cheaper, maybe like $3.99. I'm not positive. So maybe these kits will be like 20, 20 bucks or so. What do you think? Should we do some patriotic kits? Fluff those stars out. So I placed one there. We're going to come back in with one more. And all of these pip berries are wired so you can pull them apart and make sure that they're not kind of going in an awkward direction. So that's two. Let's work in a few more. Yes, patriotic kits, you got it. So again, you guys, as a friendly heads up, in case you're new here, the wreath community does open at the end of next month. Um, and, you know, you've been hearing it a lot for those of you that watch all of our videos. But the reason I want to make sure you guys know is because Black Friday, we opened kind of spur of the moment. Um, and the reason we opened is because we had so many awesome Christmas tutorials. I didn't want you guys to wait a whole other year. But when we open up in March, we're probably not going to be open again until... September, August, probably probably September, when we start doing the bulk of our fall and Christmas designs. So I'd hate for you guys to miss out like a bunch of people on Black Friday, uh, and it always makes me feel really bad. So we open for a few times of you know a year at this point. We used to be open all year long for new members, uh, but it just makes it easier for us to accustom new group members to the group and get them acclimated, then have new people come, you know throughout each week or you know whenever that we have to accustom so it makes it a lot easier on me that way we can go you know boom 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 with the information everybody can get used to it and then we can just design like crazy so tonight we have a few videos that are in the works on being edited we have a beautiful patriotic teardrop that we actually made ourselves we used some Styrofoam. We made our own teardrop base out of styrofoam. And then we have a fresh flower tutorial that I'm really behind on posting, but that's going to make an appearance this week. And then what else we got? What did I film the other day? We have a lavender, rosemary, and mini soft pastel yellow rose wreath that was actually inspired by Michael's. 
I kind of like it just going downhill like that. What do you guys think of that? Instead of making it circular, we'll just go downhill. So to fluff your pips, <laughs> you just pull them apart, kind of stretch them out so that the wires are nice and straight. And then, well, you could curl them too. That's another point I forgot to say. You can just wrap them around your fingers if that's kind of what you like. I like them to be sticking out like that, but to each their own. So I'll take this one and we'll see how far down I want it to go. Probably about there. And then maybe one final one just to tuck in. Let's do one more. Hey, Tony. So I think we had 15 or 16 of those kits listed. The ones we made, if you're just tuning in now, we designed a wreath kit first before this. I think it turned out really pretty. Oh, and I forgot to say, Alex should be in the comment section, so everybody make sure to say hi to Alex. Alex was a champ today. She got so much done. And I think this week, too, what we're going to do is me and Alex are going to sit down and call you guys. So for those of you that place orders, typically, you know, you provide your, your phone number. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but I think we're going to call some, some people and check in with you guys, see what you're all up to. I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to place it here. So I don't want them to stick out too far, but I do like a few of those little tendrils to be up towards the middle. Not many. That should do it. I think that is going to be the finished wreath with a little bit of fluffing, of course. Yay, nay, what do you think? You guys like the pip berry reeds? So we have the pip berries in this color scheme, the stars. We also have them in stars, but with just that cream berry color. Uh, we have pip berries in red and green. We have pip berries in solid red. Uh, we had them in red and white. I think those are gone from the last time we did a kit with these. But I'm a huge fan. I used to not be too crazy about them. But again, for patriotic designs, I think that looks absolutely amazing, if I do say so myself. So that is going to be the completed mini wreath on a 14-inch grapevine. And we should hopefully have more grapevines available soon. As of right now, our grapevines are available with our kits. So this is the kit that we made tonight. Uh, it's got that beautiful tin sign. It kind of looks like, um, what is that called? Like tin roofing? I don't think that's the name for it. Uh, the farmhouse stripe in the gray and cream. You get three anemones. You get the real touch leather fern. And you get one spray of the allium, which is in the onion family. So that is $49 for this kit. Perfect for everyday use. You know, you don't have to switch out this wreath at all. You could have your walls painted a mustard yellow. You can have your walls a deep indigo, red, green, blue, whatever color. This is a color scheme that would work great for anything, right? There's no, no real color in it, so it'll work with any room and any decor, whether you have kind of a more you know, primitive style like that wreath or whether you have a modern house or an old farmhouse, whatever kind of home you have, this would work. So thank you all so much for joining tonight. Thank you for the hearts, for the shares, for the comments, for the stars, for the engagement, uh, for being with me. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alex is working hard on uploading uh, old videos on YouTube, some videos that you probably have never seen before and, you know, they've never been published. So definitely check out both of those accounts. Uh, Alex actually made us a Pinterest account a while back, uh, and I think she's been uploading to that. So for those of you that are Pinterest friendly, <laughs> I'm not. I'll work on it. Uh, we got a Pinterest. You can find supplies at nickseasonaldecor.com, available designs, completed designs, anything you see me make. I know that's, it sounds crazy, but uh, a lot of you guys ask what we do with the designs we create, and we actually do sell them in our Etsy shop, uh, and we'll have links down below for that. 
and make sure to text me if you haven't done so yet. We still, whenever we do free giveaways, that's how we choose our people now. We just choose it based off of anybody and everybody that texts us. So uh, we just kind of scroll, pick a number, and text you guys that you've won, or just send it right to your house if we have your address on file. So uh, the number for that is 978-396-9150. Thank you so much for spending your evening with me, and I'll see you all tomorrow night. Bye, everyone.